Hi all, it is Nico Olive again, and in this tutorial, we will convert point features in QGIS to AutoCAD drawings. This is the layer we are going to convert now. It contains the heritage uh, sites of a municipality. These are two layers. First, we will convert the um, layer containing the old size. We will convert them by the attribute type. Save the selected features as a DXF. And don't add them to the canvas. Now select the features of the other type and uh, do the same procedure again. Don't forget to save them to a folder which uh, you know where it is located on your computer. And use the coordinate system of your project. Now let's save the other layer by using the same procedure. We have only one type of features in it, so we just uh, will select them as a DXF with an RMA. Now open your AutoCAD. This is the basis we start with. Open each of the files you saved before. In order to see the points uh, you will need to enlarge the node size in AutoCAD by typing DD P type in the command line. Yes, now we can see them. Judging by the name of the file, these are the heritage uh, heritage points for historical places. So we name the layer of the same. We give it a different color and yes, let's try again. And we copy and paste the features to our project. Don't uh, forget to paste them to original coordinates. Let's leave only the layers which we'll use later. You can see that the copied features go along with their layer. So a new layer is created. 
Now we will again enlarge the point size. Yes, it still is uh, small, but uh, we can see the features. Yes, that's bad. Now do the same procedure to the other. 3dxf files we saved uh, before by again creating a new layer with the name of the type of the features giving it a color so that we can identify which features are there and copy and paste to original coordinates Leave only the layers which uh, contain the heritage features. Now you can see the CVG file we uh, used for the legend I've opened it uh, I've opened it in uh, audacity which is a free program you can download it from their site and uh, save the CVG file as a PDF use the settings I use in this tutorial
I will show you now the site, the official site of Audacity, and you can download it free. There, yes. Click download. Uh, an exe file will be uh, placed on your computer, and you will double click and install the program. It is free of charge and uh, no license is required. The other program is uh, able to extract professional. I will uh, copy and paste uh, the link in the description below. We will use it to convert our PDF files to a DVG file or the DXF file. Select all and uh, export the file to an AutoCAD format. Use DVG in this tutorial. Use the settings I modified in this tutorial. And don't forget to use a name which you easily recognize later. Here is our exported CVG file. It converted the circle to a polyline with. Uh, many segments which is not uh, exactly perfect we will correct that later name two layers one for hedge and one for lines we name two layers because they will have different colors leave only the lines layer We uh, built a circle using the center line of the pole line and delete the pole line which contained the seg many segments which will of course make the CVG file look uh, bigger than it actually is. Add specific width to your pole line and place it above your hedge. Copy and paste your features in your draw. Use the, for, uh, the command again to uh, restore the curves to their original resolution. Before we define the block, we need to place the, all of its components in layer 0. Name it the way you want, select all features and pick the center of the circle, if your CVG is circular of course. That's it. And press OK. Now I will place the block. This is our block. By uh, giving it a different layer, it will change uh, its boundary color. Now I copy and paste it to the insertion points of uh, each of the nodes. Okay. 
which contain the type of features that match the image of the CVG. In this case, the blue points. Yes, that's it. Now we remove the original points. Do the same procedure for the other CVG, which we used for different types, and uh, import them as uh, PDFs in able to extract, convert them to DVG files, and uh, later create a more simple CVG and DVG files for the blocks. This is the final result. All the different types have their separate images. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and good luck in your architectural practice.